I'm Stephen Ben Danoon with Israeli News Live. A very sad story coming out of the capital of Israel today in Jerusalem. A three-month-old baby has been killed by Hamas terrorists. It has been confirmed by the Israeli authorities after he took his car, ran across the median, which Israel National News published the video footage of the car ramming into a group of people that had just gotten off of the bus line there. Actually, it's the transit rail system in Israel killing the three-year-old baby. A policeman did take and shoot the uh, driver as he tried to flee the scene on foot. Several other people were injured uh, by, the, by the terrorist in his attack. And of course, the, the Israeli police have confirmed that he has also been arrested before and imprisoned in Israel for terrorist attacks. Just makes you wonder, is he one of the ones that was released according to the deal with the Palestinian Authority for this peace agreement, this so-called peace agreement that, of course, clearly, as the Bible says, peace, they say peace, peace, and there is no peace. What more does the Vatican want out of Israel as they force these types of deals with Israel? only to see that Hamas, as they have declared on their own television, Arut Shiva reported today uh, that Hamas welcomed the attack. This was stated here. This is a natural response to the crimes of the occupation and invasion of our land by the Jews, particularly on the Alaska Mosque, which is the, really the Temple Mount. The Alaska Mosque should be torn down and totally destroyed because the land belongs to Israel a land that God had given them, a land that God had swore Israel would return to. He goes on to say Hamas spokesman uh, Hossam uh, Badran stated this on official Hamas television. Hamas television had also confirmed the identity of the terrorist who was shot and wounded by police but is not dead, as initially reported in the press as a 21-year-old Abdur Raham uh, Sladi of uh, Shalo Sh Sh Shaloach, or Silwan, uh, Sadadi had previously served in Israeli prison for terrorist activities, as I mentioned to you earlier. The sad thing, though, about the family that lost this child today, that got to go home to be with the Lord, they had just returned from the hotel from praying at the Wailing Wall, and they had expected or wanted a child for quite some time, for a number of years, but had not been able to have one. And this child here, they had recently had after a long wait. The grandfather reported this uh, to, a root, uh, to a root Shiva's news uh, media there. And Earlier today, Prime Minister Stephen Harper, the Canadian's Prime Minister, was addressing a group of legislators when gunmen bursted into the Parliament building and began to shoot through the Parliament building. There's a, a former uh, mounted policeman by the name of uh, Kevin uh, Vickers, or Vickers, who actually took on the gunman. He actually killed one of those, being held as a hero today in Canada. But it cannot be understated enough the seriousness that three gunmen actually made it into the Canadian Parliament. Of course, Stephen Harper, who is a staunch supporter of Israel, one of the few left in the world. Prime Ministers that actually stand with the Jewish state, could it be that the terrorist would have liked to have seen him killed because of his stand for the Jewish people? That only will only can only no doubt be resolved as the investigation will be ongoing and, and unfold as the details come out. But that's one thing we'll be watching for ourselves. I'm Stephen Bendenu with Israeli News Live.